So I'm having a right good go at this uh, Resident Evil 6 um, video recording series, whatever you want to call it at the minute. Um, so I thought I'd just do tie up the, the loose ends of the game. Um, so you got the Xbox Live Marketplace, not sure what sort of DLC is available for the game. Um, we've got special features, uh, collections, some of this I haven't actually looked at myself to be honest. Um, these are basically just text, um, like when you get the serpent emblems, you just unlock in like little backstory segments and you've got a few things in there like that. Um, Cutscenes, you know, it's all your cutscenes throughout the game. Looks like they've got a bit of a timeline going on, so uh, see how the story interacts there. Records, basically, uh, that'll be all your scores and times and all that sort of stuff, as you'd expect. Um, even it's got distance covered on there. You've got games credits, options, uh, what you got in there, you can change the controls, um, camera. So it looks like you can piss about with the uh, the camera. I wasn't really that aware of that. I didn't really have any reason to change the camera. Game settings, subtitles, gamer tag, hood, laser sight color, icon display, auto action button. Um, one thing I didn't touch upon is the actual HUD for the characters changes. It's basically the, it displays the same information but it has a different um, visual style for each character. I don't know if you noticed that when I was playing through the game in the previous videos. You got your audio there. Um, auto data upload. So I'm guessing that's uploading it to a cloud and then you can set it all back to default. So that's just the options. So moving on to play game, you got X you got dog you can customize your dog tag, which is you know, if you're familiar with games like Call of Duty, it's your uh, what do you call them? Call call cards, whatever. Um, yeah, it's basically what's displayed to other players when you're in sort of game lobbies and things like that. And you can change that, a couple of achievements to be had there easily for changing them. So extra content, got Agent Hunt, um, and that's where you join the game as a creature. Um, I'm just going to quickly try this. It's really rubbish to be honest, I only tried it once and I thought well, what a waste of fucking time. See if we can find a session. Could not find a session, so fortunately we can't play that. And we got this mercenaries mode, um, which again looks like you can play it co-op, but it's basically kind of like horde mode on um, Gears of War. Um, but it, it instead of just waves and waves coming, um, there's a time limit I think, and it scores you on that. Gives you a like an S, A, B, or C, D, E, whatever rating at the end. You also get them ratings at the end of um, the chapters in at the end of the levels in single player mode. I didn't really touch upon that. Mainly because I didn't complete a chapter in any of the videos I did, but yeah, um, basically you've got a level and uh, run around, find some zombies, a bit of music, kill as many uh, zombies as you can to get the high score. Any fucking shit weapon to have, shotgun, that's more like it. Fucking spit flames at me or something. You get a little combo meter on the go. Getting two of the motherfuckers with the uh, one shot there. Yeah, you'll have to go faster than that bitch. 
So if you can imagine the um, agent hunt, if you can imagine you look at these enemies and how slow and cumbersome they are, um, imagine just how horrible the controls are when you play agent hunt and you play as one of these sorts of enemies, it, it really just doesn't work very well at all. Gotta be a real sadist if you uh, <laughs> if you enjoy that mode. It's the kind of thing that this, the, you know, say that oh, this is going to be a feature of the game and it's going to be amazing and on paper it sounds really good, but then in practice it's just lame. I suppose it's better to have something there though and not use it than just not have it at all so credit to the developers in that sense but uh, it's not really something that you're going to enjoy the agent on. Mission end. And I got an E rating. Not really sure if you're up in the sort of A ratings, whether it extends the uh, the game or anything like that. Like you get a wave, and you complete a wave. Not really sure whether there's any of that sort of thing going on. Um, I'm certainly not good enough to get a decent score on it, that's for sure. Um, so we'll try another level with, I don't know, Chris has probably got an assault rifle, which is a bit better. So yes, I should probably do a conclusion for this game. Um, Resident Evil fans will pro probably enjoy it, but won't like if you're a hardcore Resident Evil fan, you won't really like the direction it's gone in, but it is still worth a playthrough. Um, as an action game, though, I found it um, kind of enjoyable. Found it a bit sort of long winded, though, like I say. Um, there's 20 hours to be had here. Um, where the fuck are all the enemies? I can see any. They're all like below me. Oh, fucking turn up now, don't they? Behind me, bunch of fucking bitches. Um, yeah, I, I think the control system's pretty decent. I think that maybe it would have been wiser for them to not include the uh, the co-op elements. I think yeah. Because I'm not a big fan of playing through stories like online with another player, um, I think multiplayer should be like, you know, Call of Duty, sports games, just that sort of basic me against you format. Um, I don't really, I feel like I'm missing out because of the, the co-op mechanic that's sort of like forced upon you doesn't feel quite as slick as a Resident Evil game that you just play by yourself. Some, uh... Skill points and shit. That's so overall, uh, I mean you can get this game uh, 4 quid, 4 or 5 quid uh, pre-owned on Amazon and 20 hours worth of uh, you know gameplay you know it's a pound for five hours and that's that's only me playing it on um, you know amateur mode and not really playing this mercenaries mode or the agent hunt mode that I see, you know, I see isn't really worth bothering with but for the single player alone it's definitely worth the money if you're still on the uh, the old PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 if you haven't moved to the uh, next generation yet so that's my video kind of in-depth analysis of Resident Evil 6 um, basically 
it's not a good direction for the series to take as Resident Evil. I don't think it should be called Resident Evil 6. It should be a separate sort of um, offshoot, like subsidiary um, sister series, I guess. Um, it's definitely not a landmark title in the series, but as an action game, um, as games go, it's definitely worth a playthrough for the money that you pick it up for. I mean, I paid a tenner for it, something like that. You pick it up for about four quid now, and I'd be happy to have paid a tenner for it. So, um, definitely recommended. Um, I can see why people would have been pissed off with it when it was brand new and it cost 40 quid and you're expecting a full-on Resident Evil experience. It doesn't quite deliver in that sense, but it it's still a worthy addition to the series. There have been some shit Resident Evil games over the year, like over the years, like uh, Gun Survivor, um, Resident Evil Zero, in that great, and there's you know the Outbreak games, but definitely um, I can recommend this game at this present moment in time. Top stuff.